Okay, I got a video request to um to do some tricks and tips on wearing individual eyelashes. I did a video like this a while ago, over a year ago, I think, and I was going to just try to find that one and send it to Brandy1525 with an I. Hey, Brandy, not with an Y, but with an I. And um, <laughs> I'm like, you know what, i just do another one because I do want to say um a couple of things that I did not say in the, in the other video I did. But, um... A couple of videos back, I did a review on these individual lashes by Kiss. I, um, that's all I wear is individual eyelashes. I don't like the strips. I know how to put them on, but they never look right on me. I, I just love the individual. Um, so, I know, Brandy, you like to put on makeup um, almost every day. And as far as wearing the, um, the eyeshadow, that's... Like the number one question I get, well, how you wear, wear your eyeshadow? If you notice, I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow. It's like, you know, sometimes I do an eye look, and that's mainly when um, I know I'm getting ready to take the lashes off anyway in a couple of days because you can put your eyeshadow on. That's the way to put it on without having a lot of fallout because you don't want to put on your individual lashes and you put on, you know, loose powder and pigments and everything, and you have makeup all in your lashes and they don't look cute so that's why I, it's you know i don't do i look no i looks a lot as far as eyeshadowing pigments and stuff um another question i get also is what kind of glue i use i don't care what anybody say i've been through i've done the hard work for you guys they do sell glue for the individual eyelashes they sell kids have their own brand of glue i bought or they'll have um, different kinds of glue. I bought that. Um, Broadway lashes I wear. They have the glue. I bought that. And I always go back to. Yeah. Just hair glue that you put your um, tracks in or whatever. 30 seconds. And um, this is all I use. Like I've, I've sp wasted money buying all of those different glues. And I open up the thing and I, it's just strong. It just smells. So I'm like okay. So I sit there and let, the, no, let it breathe. Try to put it on my lashes and it it burns. Yeah, it was burning my um my eye. It was just the odor was just so strong. My eyes were wet, was just tearing up. So I can only put on like maybe three or four lashes, and I just have to just take it off and start over and go in my closet and get my glue. You are going to lose some some real lashes when individuals. Just just how it is, but. Just a couple. You're not going to lose all of your lashes wearing this because you can take this off easily. If you put your individual lashes on and you're like, well, I don't like them or they're crooked, you can get some um, Vaseline. That's how I take them off. Get some Vaseline and I just, you know, rub it in between my two fingers here and I just coat the lashes with it. You're just not going to run it in your eye. You're using Vaseline. You can use the dollar store kind. doesn't matter. Just squeeze it on your lashes. Do the other one. Come back to this one and just, you know, just massage it in and it's going to lift. How long they last, it depends on you. You know, I work out a lot. I sweat like crazy. So, I can get like maybe two, three weeks out of these lashes um, if I take care of them really good. When I work out, you know, this, I pour down sweat. I always wear a bandana which helps with the sweat a little bit. I have, I can't find this. I need to go buy another one. But I wear a... um. A sweatband, you know, an, an athletic sweatband. Excuse me, I'm trying to keep the light. I wear just a sweatband to help catch the sweat before it gets all in my eyes. Of course, you're going to have some sweat that runs down in your lashes. What I do, I just, you know, keep a small towel and I you know, just pat under, of course, and I go and I just pat. Excuse me, y'all. Over my lashes. I just, you know, not even touching the hair. I just get the towel and just pat. Um, these are not, individual lashes are not for everybody. Like I said, if you do a lot of eye looks and stuff and you want to, you know, you're going to start blending. You know, it's going to have some fallout. But I've done a video also on how you can uh, put your um, eyeshadow on and your pigment without having a lot of fallout. It all de depends on your blending. I'm trying to keep them... The light showing you guys' eyes again. Hold on. So if you get your eyeshadow brush, you know, you put down your base coat. I mean, your your lid color. You know, you put your your brush and your pigments or whatever you're going to use. You know, you want to blow it off or tap it off. And you just 
apply it like that. Do that and build it up however you want. Then you get your crease brush and you do the same thing. And then you go in, put your crease color, crease color in or whatever. Or you do that first. And then it's to blend, instead of just getting your brush and just going back and forth to blend those two colors, I just pat like that to blend. That's what I do. And I don't have a lot of fallout. I don't have hardly none at all when I apply my eye, my eyeshadow like that. Y'all excuse me. Um, as far as watching my face, of course, you know, on the commercial, you know, you see people with the water and they, you know, I don't watch my face just splashing water in my face. So I just, you know, get my soap, whatever I'm using. Now I apply my soap like this, of course, not touching my eye, my eyelashes, or if I'm using a towel, rinse, then I get the wet towel and I, you know, wipe off my, you know, my, my soap and water. Get this another towel on this pad dry. As far as sleeping, you have to get used to it. But we, as you know, as black women, we all heard of sleeping cues. You know, we used to sleep cute back in the day to keep our hair, you know, cute for church in the morning or whatever. That's what I do. Now, you know, I have back issues and neck issues. So, there's nothing that's that important to me that will make me sleep all crazy and crooked and stuff. And wake up with a sore neck and a crook in my neck. I don't wake up with a crook in my neck, my back or anything. I get my pillow because of my my back issues i can't sleep on my stomach anymore so i have to sleep on my side so i i have my pillow you know i bought it up that's how i sleep just like this and she can see the pillow is nowhere near my eyes if i have to turn over it's like you know I'm, I've, been, I've been doing it so long just like okay i get the pillow in my sleep and i'm sorry yeah i'm sorry that's how i sleep I sleep. Um, another thing I hear people always say, you know, I, I want to try eyelashes, but I poke my eye out with the tweezers. I don't know why you don't be. <laughs> yeah, I am so sorry about that light, but I, I'm trying to be close up. I'm not. Yeah, I know I'm on my iPod. Here's your tweezers, okay? You put your lashes on. The tweezers are not going to touch your skin. You're not going to go nowhere near your eyeball. You just holding the lash. And you just applying it. Just applying it. Um, I'm going to find the video I did about um, with me applying it. The link will be below. I do the same thing, so I'm not going to just re redo that video. I, I do the same thing. Um, you know, get your lashes, put it in your glue. And like I said, you don't want to have your lashes just going up. You want to, as you can see, at an angle. You put them on like that. But look at the video. I, I go into really, really good detail in that video. I got a lot of good feedback on that video. As far as um, the lashes are concerned, um, well, it'll be on the video again. But, you know, I just get the lash and I just use my fingers. I don't know if I said this in the original video. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you really fast. I um, take the lashes out. I don't, I don't just, you know, get my tweezers and take out each one. Because it depends on what brand of lashes that you use. Um, it could be stuck in there really tight. So when you get your, um, tweezers and trying to pull them out, you actually messing up, messing up lash, you know, mess, messing up a lash. So I just get my fingers, peel it back and I just, see there? I just pull up, pull them up like that. Again, in the video, I will have all of that in the um, video. You set up everything first and, um, when you get, to doing it as long as I have. I time myself. I can do. The last time I timed myself. I did one eye in nine minutes. But I can do it in like six or seven. Sometimes five. Yeah. So just practice. You'll get. You'll get also. Um, really good. Um, I also showed in the video below. You don't need a whole lot of glue. You don't want a big gunk. Because you will be able to see it. So you can't see it now. But if you use too much glue. You're going to, you know, they can tell you just got a whole lot of damn hair glue on your lashes. So you only need a little bit. Um, sorry. Oh, shit. Yeah, I just open up the glue like a dummy and waste it. But, um, what you're going to do is you're going to get your lash. You're going to dip it into your glue. Again, all of this is going to be in the video below. If you can see that. The 
see that little tip? That's all you need. Just that little small dot. You don't want to put it in that glue and come up with a big pile of... Uh-uh. No. <laughs> no. You don't want that. It's, it's, it's going to be looking a high ghetto mess. Trust me. So, yeah. That's how you want to uh, put your lashes on. Um... What else I can say? Um, again, I don't care what nobody say. This hair glue is the, it's the best. Because when you take it off, like I said, to take it off, you, you're you going to still have some eyelashes. I have lashes. They just grow really short and they curl up. My daughter, is she she's going through like, Mama, my lashes. I'm like, well, that's how mine grow, baby. They don't just, she want to, oh, I want to get a, um. well, anyway, they just, they short and they just curl up. Just like you got an eyelash curler. But they don't grow long, which would be really pretty and curl up. They're really, really short and they curl up. So I have real lashes under here. Um, and I do take my lashes off. Y'all know me when I'm not on when I'm not filming, I take them off and let them breathe a couple of days. By the time Little Good Friday come, I have a new set on. Sometimes y'all see me without them. I be looking a crazy mess. But just as you can see, just my just by having on some eyelashes, whether you have on individuals or off strips. But we're talking about individuals today. Wash your eyebrows. Put on some moisturizer, some lip, lip gloss. That's all you really need sometimes. And that can just make your look just like, you know, you ready for anything. So y'all know my motto, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. But again, if you practice like I've done, and my husband like, well, let's go. I'm like, go oh, well. And I'm looking a hot mess, so I'll, you know, I'm like, well, give me, you know, give me 20 minutes. And I put my lashes on really quick. If I don't want to put on some my contacts or some big shades or whatever, but yeah, um, it it takes practice and you like me, you'll get there. You think about all. I used to spend seventy five dollars, um, to get my eyelashes done. I did that like twice, and I'm like, came home and you know they started to fall off and was some school on how to take them off and I didn't have. I was bald. I mean bald. I ain't have nothing left. So I'm like, man, to get that. Then once I got on YouTube, it was all over. I looked at Color Beautiful video. I watched her video, I don't know how many times, for months. I had everything ready. And I'm like, well, I, th I think I'm ready. So that's what people tell me. See, can I watch your video a long, long time? And I've, I've finally done my own lashes. Y'all, why I, I can't never... Eyebrows make me sick. I can switch the eyebrows. Yeah, they don't never... I know they're sisters. They're not twins. But yeah, they this one making me sick. But anyway, yes, that's... um. Some tricks and tips on how to wear individual lashes. Um, if you like me, you know you don't wear a lot of eye makeup or whatever. They they become addicted. When you take them off, you just like, mm -mm. I need some, I need some, I need some eyelashes on. Um, also back to the glue. Like I say, if you you know you try all the other glue or whatever, especially Ordeal, the damn Ordeal dries like steam it. And when I start, when I first started, um using it you know doing my own lashes i would i think i was picking up too much glue and then when it dried and i would blink oh to my miserable i was feeling that glue when i blink on my bottom lid and it was just painful i had to just one day just sit there had to set on not even a whole day it was just so it was just hurting me like some little needles was just sticking me and i'm like oh what is it i had to get my own Vaseline and just sit there and rub it for a long time. I lost a whole lot of lashes. I lost a lot of lashes taking them off. But remember, when you're using this hair glue, just like hair in your head, you have to use you know, Vaseline or whatever. Now, don't use no weave glue remover on your eyes. I ain't No, that's for your hair. I don't do all of that. Just get some Vaseline. Say, man, you did your lashes. and um, I don't like them. Mm, I don't like them. Even if you've done it the same day. Get some Vaseline, put a good coat on there, just sit there and just rub, rub. Just sit there and just squeeze. Then they'll start to lift up. Also, two more things really fast. Um, when, you know, when I sweat too much or whatever, or sometimes if I, you know, which just haven't happened in a long, long time, but I wake up and Evidently, my eyelashes, the end of it, may have hit the pillow I was laying on. I wake up, and this part will, will be sticking crazy up, and I'm like, man, I didn't mess my eyelashes up. You don't have to take off all of your lashes to do it again. Get you a small little, um, I want to move a lot because they're light. Get you a little, some little small scissors. Not no big ones. Get you the little small manicure scissors. And, um, 
well, like so these are hair scissors, but you get the little small ones. You know, they come in a little manicure kit or whatever. You get those those scissors and you just cut the end that's sticking up, that's not touching your skin. You get it and you just cut off the little end. Get you a Q-tip, some just some regular tap water, and they'll just wipe off the glue if there's any left on your arm, um, on your eyelid, and just apply. Those lashes again on that end. I, I do it all the time. All the time. You know, both of these ends will be sticking up. But I'm like, okay, I got like another week I can get out of. Because the rest of it, the inner corner in the middle is stuck together. But I just want to, you know, look fresh. So I just take off the ends and reapply them. And also really important, um, you do your lashes, put on your mascara, any kind of do. Well, I had like two coats on this one. But you only need like one good coat of mascara. Let it, you know, let your, when you put them on, let it dry for a minute. It doesn't even take a minute because you've been using the 30 second glue. When you, um, you think the glue is dry, get your mascara and get your good coat. One good coat. Top and bottom. And that's it. Do not put, do not put any more mascara on them the whole time you have them on because it's going to start looking, you know, nasty and, and, and get up, whatever. Just going to start looking nasty and clunky and just nasty looking so yeah i think i hit everything um if you have any more questions just leave them below but i think i hit everything and don't forget just click the video below with me doing them years and years ago i holla